Good morning internet. We're going into week three of the lockdown and as predicted my hair is starting to really annoy me because it's getting so long. Well you know long for short hair. It's it's getting to a point where I can feel it on my neck which is annoying and of course I can't go and get it cut so I have to do it myself. But luckily I thought ahead because when the lockdown was announced and I realized it was going to be a really long time until I could get my hair cut again, I quickly got online and managed to buy myself a clipper set. I have no idea how to use it. Um, I don't know if it's any good. It was quite cheap, so probably not. This is going to be an interesting experiment. Yeah. Hey, okay. I've set myself up in the kitchen. I've got a mirror because I don't have many mirrors in the house, but I've got one propped up on the table here. I've got cameras because this really needs to be recorded. <laughs> this is going to go so badly. I've got the very short instruction book. It basically has one page of, well, two pages of instructions. It's not good. How sensible I'd go and like Google how to do this, but eh. Okay, first instruction. Before cutting hair, the blades of this clipper need to be manually lubricated to ensure they do not deteriorate over time. Are you going to tell me how to lubricate it? I mean, they gave me this little bottle of oil, but they don't actually say where to put the oil. Not helpful. There's like... More pages of things like don't use it in the bath than there is of actually what you're supposed to do. Okay, I just... Put some oil along the blades then I guess and see what happens. Right. So getting started. This is good. Make sure your clipper is operating correctly. working. It's making noises. Place a towel around the neck of the person whose hair is being trimmed or cut. This person should be seated so that the top of their head is at your eye level. Well actually this person is seated so that the top of my head is at camera level because that's more important. The really tricky thing here is I'm going to have to take my glasses off and the mirror is like way over there because I had to lean it against the wall because it's just a freestanding one. And I can't see as well, so I may end up having to like watch the camera feed off my phone. This is going to be fun. Okay, and also this is really not going to work because I'm going to have to move my hands. But I can sort of see myself in the mirror. It's a long way away. Comb the hair as it is normally styled. Be sure to comb out all knots and tangles. Yeah, right. Hold the hair clipper in the palm of one hand. Hang on, they haven't even told me to like, put the guard things on. I think I need to do that first. Which of these is the biggest? This looks like the biggest one. What's that? Number five. Okay. promising. Okay, tips for cutting hair. Allow the clipper to cut through the hair without forcing it at a faster rate. Use short strokes when cutting. And initially use a long trimming guide. Yeah, start at the back and around the ears to define the length of the head. What? This sounds difficult. Eh, how bad can it be? Right. Oh look, he came off. 
This is working. I'm getting here. Wow, right here is really long. coming off them would come off in the hairdressers. Oh, this looks terrible. I have no idea how I'm supposed to do the back parts. too far from the mirror is definitely a problem because I really can't see what I've done other than it looks pretty messy and a lot of hair has come off. I'm sure I don't normally get that much cut off but then it is, I have gone a couple of weeks longer than I would normally go between getting haircuts so I think it's time to move closer to the mirror which means rearranging all the cameras so I'll do that and then I'll be back. So much hair. <laughs> I've only just started. Okay, I've rearranged myself, so I'm closer to the mirror now. Uh, it's not as bad as I thought it was, but it's still not great. But we'll keep going. How bad can this be? But where I can do it left handed behind my head is really hard. Well, it's shorter. I actually think it hasn't gone too bad for the top part. I have no idea what it looks like at the back, so I've only got one mirror. Now I have to switch to a smaller one of these and try and get the lower parts shorter. So that's what the hairdresser normally does. Oh, there was a little brush thing. They gave me a little brush thing. Where's the little brush thing? I bet that's what this is for. So I can go... Now, do I remember which number I'm going to get the rest done with? I know it's number five that they normally do the top with. Three. I'll try three. How bad can it be? I'll never complain about the cost of a haircut again because this is a skilled job. Why did I never pay attention in the hairdressers for like how high up they do the the next cutting. I know they do different layers and different cuts, but I don't know how high it goes. Good thing is, because no one ever sees me except for through a video call, I only have to get the front looking good. <laughs> Oops. 
and broke the mirror. Yeah, the edge of the mirror was resting on the corner and I pulled the corner a bit too tight. Let's um, try that again. It's not looking terrible. It's not good, but there's all sorts of little bits I can still feel, which are on an awkward angle. Um, I guess if I go down to the smallest one, then I can do around the back of my neck and behind my ears, which are the bits I really hate having long. Again, no one's going to see me except for on video calls, so as long as it's okay from the front. I don't know what number this is, but I think it's the number really short. does it. She normally like gets a like, small actual razor thing and does around the edges but that seems way too dangerous to me so and I have taken off a massive amount of hair. Um, yeah my mum's going to say this is way too short but it's feeling a bit more normal. Um, the towel was like a complete waste of time. It's not even on my shoulders properly anymore. But I think this isn't terrible. Um, yeah, so I cut my own hair. Uh, at least I'm not going out in public. And it's better than having long and annoying hair. Um, I think it's now time to, one, get the hoover up and try and pick him up all this mess, and two, go and have another shower and change my clothes again. Because I'm here everywhere. <laughs> well, that was cutting my own hair. Hope you enjoyed the um, experiment. <laughs> Don't forget to do all those nice internet-y things like and subscribing. Stay safe, kia kaha, and I'll see you next time. Bye internet!